This local sports report is brought to you by Easton Mechanical. Over three decades of experience keeping you comfortable. Easton provides service and installation of air conditioners and furnaces. Book an appointment online 24-7 at EastonMechanical.com or give them a call at 519-759-1610. Here is another one of the players drafted from the Brantford 99ers in the OHL draft. It's Bo Gelsma, who went in the third round to the Barry Colts. What were the emotions, Bo, when you saw your name? Uh, was your family around you? Or just take me through the moment. Yeah, you know, I was uh, I was really surprised. And, you know, my whole family started jumping up and down. I was, uh, yeah, they all gave me a hug. I was uh, really happy, really, really happy. Great organization. Uh, couldn't be better. What goes into a day like today? There's a lot that people see, obviously, on the ice, but there's so much more to it than that from, you know, the commitment that your family puts into it and the off-ice regimen that you go through. Can you take me through the process and how satisfying it is when you see your name on the OHL draft board? Yeah, it's, it's, it's unreal. You know, we you were always up. All the players, you know, we're working out every morning on the off days. The countless hours we, we put into shooting pucks, working out, uh, you know, just, you know, staying focused on the end up goal. And, you know, OHL is just, it's just the start of hopefully going to the NHL for sure. How did your conversation with the Colts go when they gave you a call? Yeah, awesome. You know, I was, I thanked them so much and uh, really honored to be with them. And they, they seemed pretty happy to have me. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to tell you, it was a lot of fun watching you on the ice when you came to Brantford at the beginning of January or so. Uh, you scored some big goals, some pretty goals. You had some nice Thank spellings. You. Uh, you know, it was a lot of fun to watch. And that, and that was a great team to watch. Um, can you just give me a sense of, you know, what your Brantford experience was like? Obviously, it was a little bit short in terms of you only played 20 or 25 games with the 99ers. But from my perspective, I thought you're an impact player. And like I said, scored some big goals. How do you view your experience with the 99ers? Yeah, really good. Um, yeah, the guys were the guys were really great in the room. Coaches were awesome. You know, learned a lot from them. I came in like I was a part of the team, so that's that's really easy to come in and perform like uh, how you're supposed to. What'd you learn the most? Maybe from the coaches. You know, Scott Rex has been around the game a long time, and he's done a lot of great things. You know, propelling players to the next level, wherever that may be, whether it's the OHL or, or somewhere different. Uh, what'd you learn the most from these coaches, and how did they guide you and make you maybe not only a better player on the ice, but but off the ice as well? Yeah, just you know, taking hard make hard work, right? You always got you got to work hard for everything, and you know, respect, right? You got a, a lot of respect for coaches and players, and. Just it comes down to hard work, and that's what I've learned over the years. If you work hard, good things will happen. Part of your development also includes uh, time this year with Buffalo. Take me through that experience, how you grew there, and what you can say about that part of your development. Yeah, that that um, that organization is beyond better. Like it, it is unbelievable. It's an unbelievable organization. They uh, working with NHL coaches, like past NHL players, like Craig Rube and mm -hmm. Dan Collins. He played in the OHL for Plymouth, and he uh, learned. I learned a lot from him, and the guys were great down there. Had an awesome experience. Got to live away from home, billet right. Um, so that was just awesome, and I uh, learned so much. What can the Barry Colts expect from Bo Gelsma? Yeah, I'm always willing to heart, uh, work hard and uh, give give it my all, and be a uh, good good guy. Good sellies too, right? Yeah, good Sally's. Yeah. <laughs> it's always about the Sally. It's always about the Sally. For sure. Um, an amazing day for you, obviously. And, and like I mentioned before, a lot goes into this. Who are some of the people that you think about? Give, give your shout outs here, Bo. It's an opportunity for you to say thank you to the people that had an influence, uh, you know, not only with your hockey career, but help get you to this point. Um, who are some of the yeah. people you think about on a day like today, Bo? Obviously, my mom and dad and my sister, like, uh, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't thank them enough. You know, they've done everything for me, been through the, the worst. And, uh, yeah, so all my – all the past coaches that I've had, my grandparents, all my friends who have, uh, you know, on those bad days, right, have always stuck with me. And, uh, yeah, so all my trainers and everybody, everybody that has impacted my life, I uh, go and thank you. How about athlete farm training and Luke Van Moorkirk? Uh, you know, that's part of the off-ice development with the Brantford 99ers as well. Can you speak to the impact he had in a, you know, in a short period of time as well with you only coming in January? Yeah, I've, I've worked with them, uh, whew, how long? 
well, I'd say three or four years now I've been working with them and coming back, it's like, yeah, you know, we got our program set up and let's, let's get to work, right? They're great people. You know, they're probably the best gym around, I'd say. And uh, I wouldn't hesitate going there. They're uh, awesome people. They, they make working out fun. So it's awesome. You were only with the 99ers for a short period of time. It had a big impact, and now you're going to Barry. We're all happy for you, Bo. Congratulations on a great day. Thank you. This is going forward. Thank you. Appreciate it. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.